Awesome. Hey, welcome back to World Literature. We're talking about origins, where people have thought that we came from over the years. And today we're going to talk about Enuma Elish, which dates from about 4,000 years ago. But first, I need to make a correction. I said three out of four people didn't believe in monotheism. About half of the world today believes in monotheism if you count Christians, Jews, and Muslims. It's about half out of approximately eight billion people. However, that it's a new thing that's only happened in the past 4,000 years. Prior to that, most people believed in multiple gods. And so we have monotheism, which means one, and polytheism. Poly means many, many gods. And this is, we're going to talk about a, an epic from Babylon. And Babylon means houses of the great gods. Now in Bible, which was written down much later than this, even though this dates this date from about, like I say, 4,000 years ago, 3,800 years ago, give or take. In the, in the Bible, Babylon is seen as evil because Jews believed in one God not in multiple, multiple gods. So, here's a Babylonian tale of our origins, the origins of humanity. When on high, no name was given to heaven, nor below was the netherworld called by name. Primeval Apsu was their progenitor, and Matrix Tiamat was she who bore them all. They were mingling their waters together which is a nice use of euphemism for having sex, right? Then were the gods formed within these two. Now Marduk, he has a different idea because there's already gods, but why not do something else? And he says in Tablet five, uh, 6, after he heard the speeches of the gods, he was resolving to make artful things. He would tell his idea what he thought of his heart, he proposes. And he says, I shall compact blood, I shall cause bones to be, I shall make stand a human being. Let man be its name. So in this, in this epic, Humans come out of the bones of the gods. I shall create humankind. They shall bear the gods' burden that those may rest. I shall artfully double the way of the gods. Let them be honored as one, but divided in two. And Ea says, Let one their brother be given to me, let him be destroyed, so that people can be fashioned. So in this account of our origins, people came to being out of the destruction of a god. So they bound this god, they imposed punishment, and they shed his blood. And from that god's blood, they made humankind. And that is a Babel, Babylonian creation epic. So, isn't it interesting in Genesis, which was written much later, because we're talking about oral traditions, and then finally people being able to record them. So oral means speaking, and that's how knowledge was passed on among humans for more than 200,000 years. 
And then as people started writing things down, <laughs> then we have these uh, ways of looking into people's hearts from thousands of years ago. In Genesis it says, and man was created in God's <laughs> image. Same thing here. A retelling of how humans came to be, except for in this one, a God was destroyed in order to create us.